First, we'll talk about the placement of fire hydrants. The following guidelines should be followed when placing fire hydrants in the distribution system. There should be sufficient space between the hydrant and the building that it's protecting. It should be located near street intersections. Fire hydrants should be back from the street to avoid vehicle contact, yet close enough for pumper connection while the truck is still on the pavement and located such that they won't be covered by plowed snow. They should be placed two feet off the curb and fed by a minimum main diameter of six inches. And an auxiliary valve should be installed between the hydrant and the main and there should be a breakaway flange two inches above the ground. There are four basic types of fire hydrants. There's the dry barrel, the wet barrel, the warm climate, and the flush hydrant. First we'll talk about the dry barrel. Features of the dry barrel are that it's used in locations that freeze because it doesn't leave water up in the barrel that could freeze. The main valve is located below ground level and there's a drain valve that allows the water to drain from the barrel when the main valve is closed. Wet barrel hydrants are filled with water all the time, and that's where they get their name. Their upper barrel is always wet or filled with water. They're not used in locations that freeze because of this fact. And there's separate valves for each nozzle. So the valve to operate the nozzle is opposite the nozzle. There is no main valve below ground like in the case of the dry barrel hydrant. So when these hydrants are struck by a car and are broken off, there's a geyser that results. The warm climate hydrant has a main valve at ground level, and this main valve controls flow from all nozzles. So the main valve is operated from the top, and that pressurizes the barrel so water will flow from all nozzles once that valve is open. There is no drain mechanism in the upper barrel, and it's pressurized in the lower barrel. And then finally, there's the flush hydrant, which is used where an above ground hydrant would be objectionable, such as in airport taxiways or pedestrian malls. And this type of hydrant is completely below ground and is accessible through a cover that is flush with the ground. And the flush hydrant is of the dry barrel design. 